Hello students, I wanted to start this first uh, video with just showing you how to finalize your frame animation to prepare it to become a video. Uh, so as you can see on the screen there is uh, my bubblegum animation. One thing I want you to note is uh, right down here where all my videos these that say 0.1 second at one time they all said no delay and you may have some no delays on yours as well I'm gonna ask you before you prepare this the first thing I want you to change anything that says no delay to 0.1 second that'll be a tenth of a second okay this will really help the pacing of it when it becomes a video now you can do a multiple select because so, you may have hundreds you know of these frames so you can do is click one then depress the shift button, move over, and see how I've selected now uh, quite a few. Uh, you could treat it that way, and then when you change one of these, it will change all of them. Notice it did that. The ones that I selected changed to two seconds, but I want to go to 0 0.1 seconds. This is important to do. It's hard to go back and do this after the fact. So change all of your no delays. Then play your frame animation again. It might look a little jerky. It gets smoother, trust me, when you make it a video. Uh, but if you feel like something's a little bit too quick, like you have something else that's 0.2 seconds, maybe make it 0.3 if you need it to delay a little bit. Okay, so let me zoom back out. And we have uh, that done. So once that's done and the timing looks good, you've previewed it a few times, let me play mine one time for you to see if it's how it's looking. It goes right left to right, then it goes behind, comes in front but closer. Then the hand or starts to the quarter drops, the balls fall out, the hand comes in and flicks the quarter off to the right. Now don't forget, you've got to enter from the left and exit to the right. All right, if we're good to go, then if you'll zoom down here to the bottom right corner of your timeline, you'll see this little button here. We want to optimize the animation. So click that, optimize animation. Let me zoom back out, and this is, says, okay, the main thing is it's, it's getting rid of redundant pixels. It'll make the animation not quite so large of a file. We'll say okay, and then at this point, you're going to go to File, drop down to uh, 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 Export. I'm looking for Export. Okay, Export, File, Export, and then Render Video. Now, this may take a few seconds to, to initialize the video and render it. It's going to save it. Uh, and what's going to happen, oh, if it asks you this, then this is document frame rate. This is 30 frames per second. Uh, let's leave it at that. I might wish it would have been 15, but I'm going to leave it at that, at that and go ahead and render it. And it's going to create it, a frame animation. Uh, Let me cancel this because I actually don't want to do this yet. I'm sorry. I think down here. Oh, I'm so, so sorry. Uh, just ignore that. I don't have time to edit that out. But come down here where it says convert to video timeline. Go to the timeline button. Convert to video timeline. We want to do that. I'm sorry. Now you'll see that the, every layer that you have here on the right becomes a layer down here in the bottom. Okay, and this is where we want to be. Okay, I'm going to stop this video right here. At this point, you want to save it. You want to say File, Save As, and like you have a frame animation that's a PSD file, this one you don't want to write over your frames. You want your frames to stay there in case you have to go back. Just call this one, uh, instead of frame animation, you know, call it Video. Uh, hit Save, so you have two files. All right, 